a bundle of clams, sausage, peppers, delightful. So I have some bell peppers here. I have orange, yellow, and red, but any bell peppers will work just fine. I'm gonna slice these up relatively thin, like, you know, French shade julienne. I always find it easier. If you cut the pepper like this, it's harder to cut. If you put the interior up, I always find it's easier to work the knife through it. The other things that I'm gonna add to this is I'm gonna add about four cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna add one red onion, which I'm just gonna slice. In addition to that, we have clams, and I'm using middle neck clams, and also any kind of sausage. I'm using a smoked sausage, but you could use spicy Italian, but you want a kind of a sausage that's already been cooked, whether it's cured like a salami or smoked like a kielbasa, that's what you're looking for. And do they have to be middle neck clams? What's the difference between clams? The difference between clams is mainly size. So there's little necks, which are smaller, middle necks, which are ah. middle. I like a middle neck clam for this because they're just a little meatier. They take a little bit longer to cook, which gives the onions and the peppers and the sausage time to kind of catch up with them. The beautiful thing about cooking in a packet or you know, the French would say on papillot, is that you put all these different flavors in the packet and then they cook together. When the clams open, they're gonna throw their juice into the sauce. When the sausage renders out some fat, it's gonna go into the sauce. This is like a marriage of flavors. And the thing that I love about these packets is you could build individual packets for individual guests. Like, say you Ooh. had a guest that, um, you know, doesn't eat meat. You could leave meat out of theirs, or a guest that wanted them spicy. So you could almost make it like a party, like cut a bunch of vegetables, cut a bunch of meat. It's a new kind of party, build your own packet. Build your own packet. If we were doing these in the oven, we would set our oven to about 375, 400 degrees, put the packets in the oven on a sheet tray. I'm gonna do, I think, two or three big packets. Now we're gonna build our packet. So I'm gonna take two pieces of foil, and I'm gonna make an X like this. I'm gonna take half my peppers, a little bit of my garlic, some onion. Olivia shopped for those red peppers this morning. Good job. Yes, Liv. I did. <laughs> Pinch of salt, cracked black pepper, some sausage. Our clams right on top. I like putting the peppers and onions on the bottom because that's gonna go directly on the flame. They're gonna caramelize and then the meat and the clams are gonna release their juices down in. Oh. So now I start to kind of crimp up my sides. I'm gonna put in a little bit of my butter, splash of my wine, and we crimped up the sides so the liquid doesn't pour out, obviously. Do you have to use wine in this? I do want some acidity in there. So you could use lemon juice and a splash of water would work fine or lemon juice and a little bit of stock would work fine too. I have chicken stock, but any stock will do. And then we're gonna come up all the way here, seal everything up so we got our first bundle done. Now the second pack is exactly the same, unless, you know, you wanted to do something a little bit different and you could do that too. Like if you wanted to eliminate the meat, you could eliminate the meat. All right, so we're gonna take the rest of our onions, peppers, garlic, most of our sausage, put our clams right on top, pinch of salt, cracked black pepper. Get our little well there formed. Stock wine, and then we bundle up this guy. Make sure everything's sealed, because you want the steam to form in there to cook everything. Now, I'm just gonna set them right on those hot coals. Oh, wow, right in there. Right in there. The other one goes in right next to it, right in the coals. So now, I could put this top on, and I'm still getting heat, and I'm gonna make my rice pilaf on top as the clams are cooking underneath. Yeah. I got my pan on the stove uh, getting hot already. I'm then gonna put in about a tablespoon or two of olive oil and 
a little bit of butter. I go equal parts butter and olive oil for my pilaf. Uh-oh, come here, butter. Oh, <laughs> butter on a warm day. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's oh, see. This is the real boom. skill test. <laughs> And I just have to ask, since these are wrapped, how do we know when they're done? They're gonna go for about eight to 10 minutes. Um, at eight to 10 minutes, I'm gonna pull them out. You could kind of peek in there to see if the clams are starting to open. If they're not open, you could leave them in there for a little bit. But the beautiful thing about these is they'll stay hot, ready to serve for about a half hour after mm, that. Good. So it's a great way to entertain because you don't have to pull it out of the stove or off the grill and serve it right away. So my butter and oil starting to froth. To that, I am gonna add my onion that we diced up. One medium yellow onion. That's gonna go in. And then we're gonna start adding our aromatics, our seasonings that we want in our rice pilaf um, so the seasonings could open up also before we toast the rice. So the first thing, pinch of salt always, which is about a half, uh, it's about a teaspoon, four finger pinch. To that, I'm gonna add cumin, same thing about a four finger pinch or teaspoon, and a little bit of coriander, a little bit of nutmeg. We always add our spices when the fat and onions are kind of toasting, because then it helps those spices open up. And that's when you really maximize flavor. So you don't wanna spend all this money on spices and then not maximize their flavor. You could really smell the spices now getting very aromatic and opening it up. Smells delicious. It does. And to that, I'm gonna add uh, two cups of, I have basmati rice here. I like basmati and jasmine in a pilaf. And we're just gonna stir this so the fat, the onions, the spices all come together. And the other thing this does is it starts to toast our rice a little bit, which gives our rice a really nutty flavor. It's also toasting the exterior of the rice is gonna help you make sure you get a slightly more fluffy pilaf. Another good tip for making sure that the rice stays a little fluffy. We're essentially going equal parts uh, rice to liquid. So I have two cups of rice, I have two cups of liquid. In this case, I'm using chicken stock. And as soon as this comes up to a boil, we're gonna drop it down to a simmer by moving it to the front of the grill. I've gotta put a bay leaf in my, I forgot the bay leaf. Come on in. I'm gonna show you what's going on with the rice. So as soon as that liquid is absorbed, I take it off the heat. Look how great that looks. Yeah, I take my fork and I fluff it up. Wow, and then after we fluff it to absorb some of that additional moisture, you take a towel and then you put the lid back on over the towel. So as it oh. steams, the towel is absorbing the Collecting. liquid so your rice doesn't get sticky. <laughs> All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off these packets that I made and I'm gonna take the clams, I'm gonna put them on the tray. Remember, I said these clams stay hot for close to 30 minutes. So you wanna do your best to get them out so you don't leak juice, because we want that juice want for the that. rice. Oh, these are, I'm so excited about these. I'm gonna take a little peek in here to see what's going on. Oh, oh yes. Oh, wow. See, live how they're popped? Oh yeah, yeah. So we're gonna close it up so we could hold the heat, hold the sure. moisture. Those are gonna Great. continue to open up. We took the peel off. I put the towel over top with the lid to absorb any moisture after we forked it. Oh. And so look at how fluffy it is. And it and doesn't look still, mushy? No, it's not mushy. It smells so good. And that's good. what you want. Oh, Jas Jasmine favorite. and basmati rice, you know, I put some seasonings in here, but they just have such great natural just flavor. Just plain, they're super nutty. They it, really are. By far my favorite rice. And then I'm going to grab one of these. All right, so it's still steamy. Those clams have popped open now. Look that, at that just looks incredible. It's, you can still sort of get that little hint of wine in there, which right. clearly. The wine and the butter and that juice. See the juice yes. pouring out? Yes. Oh, Take these and we'll pile them up. And this yes. is the beauty of these packets. You know what the beauty of this is? Is no dishes. That is a huge thing. I have no idea so how happy that makes me. I'm gonna garnish with a little yeah. cilantro, but love. you could use parsley, basil, no herbs at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is done and ready to go. That is just heaven on a plate.